Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a low poly mountain inside of Blender 2.79. So let's get started. I'm going to start by opening up a brand new file inside of Blender and I'm just going to reload the startup file. Before I do anything else, I'm going to set up my workspace so it'll be easy to work with. I'll press T to get rid of my toolbar and I'll go down to the bottom of my 3D viewport, click on the gray arrow and drag it over my animation timeline. That way I'll have more room to see what I'm working on. I'll press M quickly and turn on my screen keys display, which will let you see what keys I'm pressing. You don't have to do that obviously, but it will make this tutorial a little easier for you to follow along with. Alright, now that I have that done, I'm going to drag out my properties a little bit and make that a bit larger. We'll need that for adding materials to our scene a little bit later on, but right now you don't have to worry about that. So, now that I've got that done and my whole blender is set up to work with, I'll press X with my cube selected to delete this cube, and I'll press Shift A, Mesh, Plane, to add a new plane, and I'm going to scale this up because it's a little too small for what I'm trying to do here. So once I have that scaled up, I'm going to press Tab and switch into Edit Mode, and then I'm going to press W, and I'm going to subdivide this a couple of times until it reaches about three subdivisions right here because I want enough that I can easily work with it to sculpt this, but not so many that it cause lag or ruin the low poly style that I'm trying to create in this scene. So now that I've got that down, I'll uh, switch to sculpt mode down where it says edit mode. And I'm going to start sculpting the beginning of our mountain. So I'm just going to go to wherever I want it inside this plane and start basically sculpting out the shape of a mountain. But before I do any of that, I will have to set up sculpting. So press T and open that toolbar, and make sure you're on Sculpt Draw. If you're on anything else, you'll get different effects, and that could ruin what you're doing. Once you've got that down, by default, Symmetry, 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 whatever, will be turned on. And you want to turn that off, so go to Symmetry, Mirror, X, and turn that off. Now that everything's good, I can close my toolbar, and I'll just start sculpting the mountain here. So. Basically, I'm going to click in the center and just left click on top of this and hold that down. If you move it a little bit too, you won't have to spam click because it will recognize and it will keep growing that too. Because you just want to make the mountain bigger until whatever size you want. So everyone's kind of going to be a little different here depending on what you're trying to make it look like. But I'm just going to kind of make mine decent sized here so that I'll have room to color it with materials later on. So this looks about right for me. And if I switch to Cycles Render, up here where it says Blender Render, and press Shift Z, I can see what it will look like once it's rendered. And that'll do just fine. So I'm going to be good with that. Since mine's a little uh, flattened, I guess you could say, I'll go to Edit Mode and go to Vertices Select. And I'm going to select these two vertices. So I'll do this one at a time. I'll select this vertice first. I'm just going to drag it in a little. And I'll select this vertice next. I'm just going to drag it in a little. Now if I switch to that view again, it looks a little bit better. I'll move this one in a little bit more there. Alright, now that I have that all set up, I'm going to press tab and go back into object mode. And I'm going to go into my properties panel and start adding some new materials. So I'm going to add three new materials to this scene. The first one is going to be called grass. And surprise, it's grass. It'll be green. The next one I'm going to add is snow. Then on top of that, I'll add the third one, which I'll name mountain. So I'm going to go up to grass, and I'm just going to make it a nice light green color. You can obviously use any color you want, but I don't know what else you would use to color grass besides green. So, since I have that selected, I'll go to Face Select, select everything in the scene, and press Assign. So then I can check that out by pressing Shift Z. So that color looks good to me, so I'm good with that. Now I'll move on to the snow. So the snow, all I'm going to do is drag the brightness up over here to make it a pure white color. Now that I have that, I'm going to subdivide this mountain. Because right now, it doesn't really have any peak that I can select, because it's all one big face. So I'm going to press W and subdivide it just like we did our plane. Then I'm going to select these top four pieces and this will be the peak of the mountain that will have some snow on it. So I'll click on snow 
press assign then when you press shift z you can see the snow is on there but obviously this looks ridiculous it's a green mountain mountains aren't green so we'll go to mountain and we'll change the color of this to a nice brown i'm going to start with a light brown color there and then just dial that down and i don't want to make it too dark either about that looks good to me now I'll select all the pieces of the mountain besides that tip we just put the snow on and I'm going to assign that mountain material to them. So mountain assign and there you go. That's our low poly mountain inside Blender. Thanks for watching and if this tutorial helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe.